Hello everyone, how are you today? It's good to see you back again. I've got some paper and some sticks and I've actually got a bit of Play-Doh but you may not need Play-Doh when you do this craft or you could find something else to stick your sticks in. So what I'm going to do with one of my bits of paper is I'm going to fold it in half. Then I'm going to take two sticks and I need them to stand up. And I'm using Play-Doh to do that. You could use blue tack or you could use sticky tape or you could do this outside and stick them in the dirt. Or you could do a really big craft and use a bit of furniture as your stick. So I've got two poles sticking up there and then I'm going to put my bit of paper over there. And can you see what I've made? I've made a tent. That was a very simple tent to make. Have you got a tent? Or have you ever made a tent or a cubby house at home? It's really good fun to make big ones, but it can be good to make little ones like this, and you could put things inside. The moment, it's the season of creation. And in the season of creation, we remember that God made everything. God made us. God made everything in the sky above, in the ground underneath, in the water, everything around us. And God gave us the job of looking after it. So we are meant to look after everything and make sure everything is safe. And this year for the season of creation, the symbol is a tent. And everything that lives on earth has its own tent. So my tent looks like a flat. What does your tent look like? Could look like a house or an apartment. Maybe it looks like a tent. Maybe it's a caravan or a boat. People all over the world all have homes, safe places to live in, but they all look different. But what does the tent for a bird look like? Does a bird live in a tent? No, not usually. A bird usually has a nest or a hole that it lives in. And the nest or the hole needs to be somewhere safe. But how about a tree? Does a tree have a tent to live in? It doesn't look like a tent, but it needs a special place of earth where it can grow. And it needs the right amount of sunshine, the right amount of air and the right amount of rain to grow. So that's the tent for the tree. How about the worms and the ants? Do they have tents? Yes, they do. But their tents look like holes in the ground or little heaps of things. And mice and rabbits and snakes all have their own tents too. Can you think how many different tents in the world there are? That's right, there's a different tent for everything that grows and lives. But remember, God said to us, that we need to make sure that everything is safe, everything can grow and everything can flourish. Can you think how we can do that? I think it would be good for us to make more tents while we think about that. Do you think you could make a tent at home? Maybe a little tent like this or it may be a big tent that you can get in. So you go and have some fun and I'll see you later. Bye.